In this episode, we'll be exploring two different types of high voltage power supplies to use with your supercapacitors. And we'll also try out three different types of spark gaps. And we'll be melting some too. Oh. And then there's this thing. <laughs> so stick around. Now these things are fun, except I burnt mine out, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and two capacitors in this one. The way they work is they usually have about three capacitors by the output, and then some rectifying diodes, and uh, well two of these are burnt out, so it has some really weak output but it's perfect to demonstrate the amplification of these capacitors. And also, if you do burn them out, you don't have to throw them away because if you just rip them in half, you get a nice little AC output. Here. Yes, don't throw them away. They're still good. Watch. Ooh. Yummy. <laughs> All right, I'll clean that up later. So for this demonstration, I'll attach one with one capacitor still in it. And it's also rectified. It's putting out, uh, it's not AC, it's putting out DC. I'm not sure how many volts the thing says it's like 400 that's not it's like probably 60,000 to 100,000 when it was new so anyway we'll try this one and it doesn't put nearly that much out but we'll give it a go here's a little here we go Oh, that's cute. All right, now let's hook it up to this thing. Also, especially if you pair them, you'll probably want to put a safety of some kind uh, because this thing just scares me without that on there. <laughs> so this way you know it's safe to handle and also it won't accumulate charge for any reason. So let's hook it up. Might be a noise warning. You can see this substantial increase. So, uh, well, let's try a full unit. They are taser units, so they call them. So, we'll try the one I made. This has two settings. Setting one, this can blind you in the dark. There's also a handy little flashlight. Oh, I think the batteries might be going. It also has a nice little belt accessory. Now see if you sit down and this is rigid, it might push it off your belt. But this one, it'll slide up and stay on. You can also unclip it. So we'll hook it up to the outputs of this. And another thing, uh, that's just not going to heal right. <laughs> oh, and the tip can be used as a distraction device. Like you're just going to look at that no matter what if it's thrown somewhere. <laughs> All right, let's hook it up. Put it on setting two. 
Give it a try. Mm-hmm. Let's see what that does. Might be a little bit brighter. Very cool. Well, on to the next. Well, that was fun. Now it's experiment time. I've been known to do an experiment or two. You see, Tesla coils aren't just used to achieve big, wonderful arcs. As you see over here, I have two crystal electrodes set up. It's sodium borate, borat, or Borax, I guess is the common name. So we're going to test the output of this tiny spark gap and see what we get. Now this may overheat and if there's any kind of problems the overload will kick in and so it'll it'll surprise you. Alright here we go. Uh-oh. That's okay. Let's try the next spark gap. All right. Now this is an air cool spark. Now this is a high quality air cooled spark gap that I designed. which has a constant flow of air circulating inside of it, which, like before, it'll only prolong the inevitable. But we'll give it a try anyway. Let's see if these burn or stay. Are they going to burn or are they going to stay? I think that's good. All right, let's give it a try. And also you'll notice inside these containers, it's much quieter, except unless it overloads and then, surprise. All right, let's do this. Here we go.
liked it. Woo! All right, well, on to the next. All righty then. So the uncooled spark gap melted right away, turned into a spark gap sparkler. And the high quality air cooled spark gap, it lasted a little bit better, but we popped it. Well, what do you do now? Well, I would recommend the world's first water cooled spark gap. You can find it on Kickstarter. It's a project I have currently. I'll put it in the link below in the description. It's interesting to read anyway, some gain some knowledge. Well, let's try it out. Is it going to melt? It works with or without air cooling, but without the air cooling, you have to run it at a little bit lower voltage. This might be too much, but we'll just run with the air and everything should work great. Let's try it out. Well, it's experiment time again. I hope you've learned a little bit about spark gaps and how to hook up your capacitor to different things and possibly dream of new experiments. So until next time, be safe. Always remember to discharge your capacitor and enjoy. right at that very moment that I remembered where I had left my keys.